Bwana sifuza. Praise God. Mimi kuna swali nataka nikuulize kwamba katika matunda there there's a question he's asking concerns fruit. Ah, mtu anaweza kuwa kanisani anaonekana matunda anajulikana kwa kazi yake lakini ndani mwake kuna matunda ambayo hayafai. Okay, there are brethren in the church who who do when you look at their character you see that they are doing good things in the church and inside them they don't have good fruits sasa mtu kama huyo kanisani ni vyema afukuzwe ama afungwe jinsi wengine wanavyofanya ama okay he's asking such a person because he's not faithful can he be just away of the church or in kenya here we say to jail them in a christian way <laughs> Secondary question. There are people who will be just seen they are not doing well, their fruits are not good. And because this person has wealth, wealth, he has money. And this person is not he will be given a position in charge. And yet, he's a sinner. Okay. Yes. If there are people in the church who serve God, but there, there's problem with the heart and the spiritual life. That's what he asked. First question, right? Yeah. The person serves God, but he has problem in the spiritual life. Yes. Yes. It's the responsibility of the pastor to teach in the church that first, before we serve God, is to have a good relationship with God, we love God and change by God and have a heart to honor God. Okay, ni ni kazi ya mchungaji ama na viongozi wa kanisa kumangalia huyo mtu na kumambia ya kwamba anatakana tumikia mungu kwa njia ya utakatifu. As I said, if we serve God and have pride or, or greed or anger, all this will destroy, will tear down what we have built up. Vila aliyosema ya kwamba utakapo mtumikia mungu kwa kiburi, kwa dharao, kwa majivuno, hiyo ni kujifunja, yani ni kubomoka ama kupromoka kiroho. Now, if there is a problem in the church, first thing is the pastor should teach the church about the importance of the spiritual life and our pure heart to God. Kwa hivyo kama kutaweza kuwa na shida kanisani, mchungaji ama ndugu ambao wanafundisha kule kanisani, wanatakana wafundishe wapendwa kuwa watakatifu, wanaompenda Mungu ili wao na moyo msafi wanapotumikia Mungu. And to bring the people to repentance and to follow God's way. Na kuleta wapendwa katika hali ya toba ili wapate kufata njia nzuri ya Mungu. If a person after warning, after trying to help him and warning, he still doesn't want to follow, then the church should stop the title of the serving God. And then if the person is, you know, the sin needs to be handled, then if the person doesn't repent, he has to be expelled from the church is communicated or sit on the sinner's bench, right? Some churches have sinner's bench. Okay. Kwa hivyo, kama wewe utendelea kuwa na ile tiburi na kuendelea kutenda vambi, hauruusiwi kusimama kwa mabebao, wewe utaka kule nyuma, ama kama hakuna uruma, utakuzo kanisa. And then for someone who has money, but he, you know, his life is terrible, lakini kwa ule ambayo ni mwenye mali na maisha yake ni mabaya. We should not let him serve because he has money. Usimuruhusi kusimama kwa madhabahu kwa sababu ana pesa. So it's very important first to handle the spiritual life of people. Kwa hiyo kitu cha kwanza cha muhimu ni kuhusika na maisha ya kiroho. Okay? And actually in the next session I will talk about sins. Na kweli ile nini mafundisho yanayofuatilia tutakuwa tunazungumzia kuhusu dhambi. How to handle different sins in our life? Jinsi ya kuhusika na dhambi tofauti katika maisha. Okay. Any more questions? So ni lingine? Yes. If you have a question just rush to the front. Kwa kama una swali kuja mbele. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now my question is, uh, is, 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 is concerning the sinner's bed. In a church, in the, we have tried to excommunicate somebody. But they alternatively come back. And we give them a sinner's bed which is always behind. Now, now my question is here. Me as a pastor, how do I handle the people in the sinner's bed? With a lot of love and a lot of care because I need to care about them also. What should I do as a servant of the Lord? So for people who are in sense, we want to Guide them. guide them to let them know that God still loves them and cares about them. And their life is precious. If you repent and love God and obey God, God is very happy they turn back to God. But if they continue sin and don't repent, then they cannot be forgiven by God. So we guide them step by step. Now there are people like this who are, they want to change but they are weak. Kuna wale ambao angelipenda kubadilika lakini dhambi inaendelea kuwafuatilia. And then we will guide them and teach them how to overcome the sins. Tutawaelekeza na kuwafundisha jinsi ya kushinda dhambi. Now these people then they should not be on a sinner's bench. But there are some people who continue to say, what I'm doing is right, I want to continue to do that. So they don't repent. Uh -huh. But the Bible says that they should be on a sinner's bench. Now how about a person says, I repent, I don't want to commit adultery, but every day I commit adultery. Then he's not seeing the seriousness of sin. Uh -huh. Sins are very destructive. Like you don't put your head in the fire and say it's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Or you get a knife and chop up your hand. This is very disruptive. So if a person says he repents, then he'll say, Yes, I hate the sin and I don't want to stay with the, the woman that I'm not, you know, married to. Okay, utasema ya kwamba mimi sitaki kutenda usharati ama usinifu na ule mwanamke ambao ni wakando unawachana naye. And a person will not die if he doesn't have sex. Yeah, wewe hauwezi kufa ikiwa hautakuwa na ngono. Utafanya ngono. Okay. Your question. Asante boy asante. Stay. We are many in the church. Never they elect leaders in every department. I'm elected. And I'm a sinner. When members don't elect me, the pastor will complain. I'm a sinner and I'm a leader who does sin, but when the congregation does not elect me, 
the, the, the pastor will always complain. The whole environment and community, they are aware you are a sinner. It's a question in this. Okay, he's saying now, if the pastor continues to insist to elect this person who is a sinner, what can we do to the pastor? And he doesn't guide me to leave sin. What can we do as a child? He's saying, no, no, no. He's saying if I'm a sinner, and he's talking about himself as a sinner, someone, say, oh, my pastor always going to be elected to be to yes. This person is a sinner in the church, and the, the church is told to elect leaders. In every department, the pastor. Uh, uh, allow once this person who is a sinner to be elected okay. to be a leader okay. and he's known even in the community that he's a sinner but he becomes the leader of every department okay let me ask what sins have this person committed what kind of sins just pick up just pick up <laughs> For example, he's a fornicator. Or he's a thief. 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 Or if a person is a false prophet, even if he's a pastor, the church has the right to handle his power. If a pastor insists on using sinners to serve God, then the people can talk with them and find out do you know about his sins kama mchungaji yeye anachagua tu atenda dhambi ufanya kazi ya Mungu mbele kanisa liongee na yeye if the pastor says i don't know about the sins then the people have to write to show him the sins of this person kama mchungaji anajifanya haoni zile dhambi nyinyi mtamuelezea dhambi za huyu mpendo if the, word, the pastor says i know his sins but i still let him serve then the people should say to the pastor, then we can you show from the Bible where does it say that we can let a sinner serve God? Because the pastor doesn't follow the Bible. The church belongs to the people, not to the pastor. Together and say the pastor is not following the Bible. Okay, mchungaji hafati Biblia. And in this situation, they can ask the help of other pastors to come to this church to handle this situation. Okay. Mchungaji-wengine but if a pastor doesn't listen to the advice of the people and also the other pastors, then the pastor should be removed from this church. Yeah, that is. 
kwa sababu hata kwa mtulaji mtakatifu if they cannot find a pastor then the people serve God together hello if they cannot find a pastor after this person leaves then they will serve God together and then until they find a pastor okay sasa huyo mtulaji atitolewa kwa madhabahu ninyi mtaendelea kumtumikia Mungu waamini na mnaweza kuchagua mwenzenu au anashikilia ili tena baadaye mpate mchungaji mzuri. Praise my question is just simple. So ni langu rahisi sana. I just wanted a direction on this. Nataka muelekee kwa hii. Eh there are leaders who are evil to us. Kuna viongozi ambao ni watenda dhambi. Eh pastor is righteous in the church. Mchungaji au kweli kabisa anampenda Mungu na ni mtakatifu. But uh, some of the leaders in the church are evil to us. Lakini viongozi wale wengine ni watenda dhambi and you are righteous and you are in the bed seated there lakini wewe muamini ni mtakatifu na uwezi kuchaguliwa kuja kwa kiongozi and uh, as the man of god has told us about serving na mtumishi wa mungu ametuelezea kuhusu kumhudumia mungu and you are feel the holy spirit now you is is just pushing you to serve god ya kuna msisimko pia na umejazwa na roho mtakatifu lakini unasikia msukumo mtumikia Mungu na wewe umewekwa kule kwa upewe nafasi kwa nini au upate nafasi and there are some leaders uh, in front here na kuna viongozi hapa mbele that are keeping a standard between you and the same god <laughs> na wanaweka mpaka kati yako na kumtumikia Mungu should i migrate from the church je ni wache kanisa or i be like isaiah who prayed until we see a had to die so that i say god ah ama niombe usie ukijue ilikuwa ni damu eh ni mfalme na ama niombe huyu mtungaji akufe ili na mimi nimtumikie mungu he says this he says this he says this eh pastor has pastor is the holy is serving god is holy is righteous with God but the leadership he has they are sinners and then with him over there he is filled with the holy spirit and he feels the passion and the power of the holy spirit pushing him that he has to be among the leaders in the church to to serve because he's holy so he's asking can i pray that the way Hosea said that the way Isaiah said that when the king Hosea died I saw the Lord can he pray that these sinners to die so that he can have a chance in the church <laughs> Now there are two separate things here two separate things Una vitu viwili tofauti First the leaders who are sinners viongozi ambao ni watenda dhambi We have answered the question already. If the leaders have sinned, how to mejibu maswali yao tia? Then we can bring this up to handle this problem. Hello? Then we can bring it up to the pastor to the church to handle the problem of the sins of the leaders. Kwa hivyo, tunaweza kuleta haya mahitaji ama kuhusu watu ambao wamtendei Mungu kazi vizuri kwa mtulaji. And then for a person who really he is filled with the Holy Spirit and want to love God and serve God, Yeah, na kwa yule ambao umejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu na mpenda Mungu na una ule msukumo wa kumtumikia Mungu. I will say this first serve God by blessing other people. Okay, cha kwanza ndugu yangu kama umejazwa na una huo msukumo anza kutumikia tu kanisa kwa wale waamini. No one can say please choose me to be a leader. Tafadhali yes. usithubutu kusema pastor ni mimi nimejazwa na roho na niko na upako niwe kwa madhabahu nitumikie. Wewe help more people to believe in Jesus and love Jesus. Utakapoendelea kuchochea kile kipawa chako na kuhudumia wapendwa pale kanisani, the pastor will see it and then will let him serve more. Viongozi na mchungaji wataona huduma wako na utatumikia utaanza kumtumikia Mungu kwa njia ya So everyone has to show himself to be worthy 
uh, by doing a serving God more. Amen. Because there are issues that maybe, maybe sometimes the person is not mature enough to serve God uh, in a public way yet. But the person still serve God by blessing other people around him. But as a leader, has been chosen by the church. Sometimes a person needs to mature more in his life. If a person is mature and also mature in his life and his ministry, then God will open the way for him. But everyone has to grow in minister, ministering to individuals and then to a small group and then in the church. And then when a person grows in ministry, then he can go to serve different churches or different countries. But this is something must be directed by God and opened by God. Amen. Amen. There's a question that I want to ask. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> he wants to talk about the sinner's bench. Uh, I am a pastor of the church. A member in the church comes to complain to the pastor. Bishop, bishop, that the bishop or the archbishop has, you know, has, 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 he has forced him to have love affair. Sometimes they do sex together. And when this lady have a different with the bishop, now he reveals this secret that the bishop do sex with her. Now, can I excommunicate the bishop and the, the, the other bishop in the church? G. Is, is it lawful and biblical to excommunicate someone in the church? May God bless you. Thank you. Even in a Catholic church, have you heard that they have excommunicated some archbishops because they have committed adultery? So even bishops, archbishops, even the Pope, whoever in the leadership position, if they have committed sins, they have to face it. We're not Catholic, we don't have the Pope, but then any leader in a church, no one can sit and continue in his position. 
ndugu yangu dada yangu wacha dhambi ya usinifu ukahaba usindi uongo na majivuno the bible passage is matthew 7:21-23 katika mathayo 7 So there are many who said they preach and they have cast out demons and they have performed miracles and Jesus said I don't know you. Hapo nipo panaelezea kwamba kuna mahali ambapo wapendwa walikuwa nasema Yesu nimefukuza mapepo nime nimeponya watu lakini Yesu anawaambia siwajui because they have not obeyed the will of God who is it kwa sababu kwa sababu hawajatii mapenzi ya Mungu okay any more questions excuse me maswali mengine kama yapo maybe man before you continue uh, just back to the question my brother had asked that can i or how can i explore uh, excommunicate my vision to us here in Kenya I feel it is a great challenge my name is Martin and at the time I felt like God is calling me and um, maybe I got a connection to somebody, somebody who could support my vision I went and registered a ministry in my name is uh, Martin in that ministries so I'm the boss I'm the everything and the executive is my, my my son my wife and I'm um, found in a delta I don't think my junior pastor is coming <laughs> Because it is the bishop, it is the boss. It is not the boss of the ministry. That is the challenge we are having here. That is what I was trying to say. Okay, you use it, that illustration. You're not yeah. saying yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 Even if someone started the ministry, the ministry doesn't belong to him. If a bishop has committed serious sins and doesn't repent, kama basi ni askofu na ametenda dhambi na amekataa kutubu then we should gather some pastors together too in a discussion and to find out the truth inatupasa basi tukawakusanye pamoja wachungaji alafu tuanze kujadiliana mambo haya katika njia ya ukweli so the process is to involve more more pastors to handle it ya kwamba wewe mchungaji ukahusishe wachungaji wengi kwenye jambo hili so that's my answer involve more pastors okay the, the, the question of that guy and you have not answered him that is it biblical to excommunicate somebody from the church yeah. mm. he asked that's in matthew 18 but they are coming that have you have you read the passage but the point is And also in uh, in first Corinthians, you know, that first Jesus talked about if someone is sinning against you, then you talk to him personally, and then you bring uh, two or three pe- people to talk with him, and then if not, the whole church. And then if he doesn't listen, then regard him as an outsider. Kwa sababu kwenye huo mstari maandiko yanasema kwamba mtu ama ndugu yao basi akikosea ukamwendee wawili kuzungumze kama hamjakubaliana muende wawili ama watatu kama hamtaelewana mambo hayo yote yaletwe kwenye kanisa alafu kisha baadaye mtu huyo akikataa kusikia basi huyo mtu mkamtambue kama mtaifa na mfukuze kutoka kwenye umati and then in first Corinthians there was one person who have have taken his stepmother basi kwenye kitabu cha Wakorinto kuna mtu ambaye alichukua mamake wa kambo and then and then Paul said that you have to handle this and then you know kick him out from the church na Paulo pia anazungumza kwenye mambo haya anasema kwamba mtu huyo basi hafai kuwa miongoni mwa washirika wa ile kanisa inampasa mtu huyo afukuzwe now the sin of speech is a, a way that some churches use to give these people a chance to listen to the word of God so they can repent. Ile benji ya watendadhambi ni mfumo ambao makanisa fulani wanatumia ili kwamba watu hao wamepewa nafasi kwamba waendelee kusikia injili 
kwa maana wanaweza kuokoka but the person doesn't have the rights of the of a member of the church lakini huyo mtu basi sio halali mshirika wa hilo kanisa wakati huo got it right okay any more questions yes the person the friend you just the rest of the kuja kuja haraka kama una swali okay my question is swali langu ni hili we have some of the pastors who are saying us tuko na baadhi ya wachungaji ambao ni watenda dhana tukaje leo mko kwa shida and we never start preaching na wakati wanapoanza kuhubiri they start like this wanaanza hivi don't look at what i normally do usiangalie kwa nini ambacho unafanya but here what i tell you lakini sikiliza kile ninachokuambia is it right je ni sawa you say that some of these pastors are committing sins yeah. and they're not repenting yeah and they're not kusema kwamba watu hao haijapokuwa wanatenda dhambi wao walikataa kutubu they will use again the two passages and talk to him and say that he's not you know he's in sin so he cannot be serving God tutatumia zile misali miwili ambazo tumezitambua hapo hao walitumwambia kwamba huyu wewe ni mtenda dhambi au ustahili basi kuongoza kanisa but when we handle the sin of a pastor we have to have different people in the church to witness to that and to yeah. to us uh, analyze the situation to understand whether he has committed a sin or not na kama unashughulikia dhambi ambazo zimetendwa na mtungaji wako inafaa muhusishe watu wengi ili kwamba wawe mashahidi wa yale mambo ambayo mnaenda kujadili usiende wewe peke yako and there are often to handle the sins of a pastor is better to get other pastors together to handle this. Na njia nzuri ya kushughulikia dhambi za mchungaji ni kutafuta wachungaji wengine wakuwe miongoni mwa kile kikundi ambacho kinaenda kumshughulikia. Okay. Now but I want to say this too, you know, that you can look at a person you say well he has some problem in this area and that area. It, you have to decide whether this problem deserves this examination. Aha basi usiwe tu mtu wa kuangalia mna unasema kwenye sehemu hii mtu huyu ana matatizo ni lazima uwe mtu wa kupambanua uangalie uone kwamba mambo haya tunayozungumza kwa kweli inafanywa na huyu mtu uelewe kwa kwa kina zaidi na even if the sin is not a serious one but he keep doing it then we still have to handle it na hata kama tunasemanga dhambi ndogo hata kama ni dhambi ndogo lakini huyu mchungaji anaendelea kuifanya kila wakati lazima uichukulie kuwa dhambi kubwa zaidi for instance if the pastor keep gossiping about different members all the time kwa mfano basi kuna wachungaji wengine lakini si wa huku wetu ambao kazi yao ni kumonya monya hata kata washirika wa kanisa or keep hurting different people all the time ama kazi yake basi ni kuita ita tu watu kuwaita majina mabaya ama ku kuwabebesha mizigo then the members should handle it sasa ni kama washirika mnaruhusa ya kushughulikia jambo hilo but if he just does it one time or he makes someone angry one time it's not you know you don't basi kama ni mchungaji wa kusegenya na amesegenya tu kipindi kidogo na pia mambo yake sio magumu mno okay we will work that you know if it's just one time thing and it's not a serious sin then you don't handle it by excommunicating the pastor aha akina najaribu kusema ni kwamba kumfukuza mtu kanisani kabisa inafaa kwamba uwe zile dhambi ambazo amezitenda zikuwe na uzito mkubwa kabisa but a one time adultery has to be handled lakini kama ni mtu ambaye amefanya uzinifu mara moja unaweza kumzungumzia okay